Hi folks, welcome to a new iProcess webcast. Today we'll talk about product maturity samples or prototypes in the automotive industry and the expectations for each with regards to functional safety, requirements maturity and testing. First, the samples are components under development provided as prototypes with increasing functionality and then integrated into test vehicles. The samples have different levels of maturity and are typically defined as follows. A sample is a functional prototype with low degree of maturity, allows early testing of basic software functions under testing conditions. The purpose of the A sample is to get feedback regarding the intended new design and or changes. A few questions we frequently encounter during this phase. Do you have functional safety implemented? What level of requirements do we need for A samples? What rigor of testing is required? Here are the answers in order. The functional safety concept and the safety goals are developed during this phase. However, there's usually little to no functional safety implemented in A samples themselves. The safety is provided by expert test operators, restricted test environments, and additional safety features in the test environment, like an emergency cutoff switch, for example. High-level requirements have to be existing in the draft stage for A samples in order to understand what goal the development is targeting. Detailed requirements and design are usually not yet defined at this stage. And finally, testing concentrates on bring up and basic functionality. Tests are usually performed manually and with lightweight documentation. The samples are not designed to perform under all conditions or over an extended period of time. B sample functional basic prototypes with a high level of maturity have all the core software functionality required at that stage of development and are used for function tests, function validation and calibration either in the car, test bench or the test lab. Same questions as above for this stage and their answers. Do we have functional safety implemented? Yes, functional safety is going to be fully implemented by the end of the sample phase. Parameter tuning and availability improvements are usually then worked out in the C sample phase. External safety precautions stay in place. What level of requirements do we need for B samples? Requirements need to be completed on all levels, from high level over architecture and component requirements all the way to detailed design. What rigor of testing is required? Functional testing at the end of the B sample phase should target 100% coverage of the requirements. Test automation should be ramping up, yet there is still a good amount of manual test execution around. Next to functional testing, the design verification, or DV, is performed including environmental testing and high accelerated life testing, or HALT. C-Sample, manufactured under pre-series conditions using series production tools and no technical constraints are permitted, enabling unrestricted use in the vehicle. C samples are used in overall testing, like endurance test, function validation, and calibration under pre series conditions. Back to our three questions. Do we have functional safety implemented? Functional safety has to be fully implemented and active in the C samples. Application of parameters happens in the early C sample, and verification and validation of the FUSA effectiveness and reliability are then performed. What level of requirements do we need for C samples? Requirements are now frozen. A strict change management process should be in place. What rigor of testing is required? Full test coverage on the functional level, ideally targeting a high level of automation and frequent regression testing. DV is continuing the testing efforts with focus on environmental testing, impacting the tooling changes and also extended live testing. D sample or zero series. The systems are fully operational and can be evaluated. All quality requirements are supposed to be consistently met and product is ready for mass production. And for the last time, our three questions. Do we have to have functional safety implemented? Well, of course, functional safety is now fully implemented and reliably functional. These samples will be operated by normal people without any special safety training. What level of requirements do we need for these samples? Same as already mentioned for the C sample, the requirements are frozen and a stringent change management process is performed. What rigor of testing is required? 
functional testing runs continuously and with the highest coverage. After the DV is now the PV or process validation. This testing effort is targeting the quality of the produced parts at scale and is usually picking a small batch of the production line randomly to execute a similar test plan as before during the DV. Keep in mind that achieving this product maturities is an iterative process. iProcess can help you with custom tailored process definitions and implementations throughout your development cycle, no matter if you're agile, want to become agile, or pursue a traditional vCycle approach. We provide training, preparation, and support for implementing the best practices.